All right, what's going on everybody? It's Tristan and today in this video, what I got going on for you guys is I'm gonna be discussing some upcoming releases in March this month right here that you guys should definitely look into, definitely invest in. Like you should be putting your money towards these, you, put, you should be putting your focus towards these because these drops are gonna be worth your time to get and they're definitely gonna go up in value. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you want more content, just like sneaker investment videos like this one, how to cops, uh, we even do you know vlogs sometimes. I haven't done them in a while, but I mean, you know, if you want videos like that, subscribe and like, I'd appreciate it. Again, goal for this video. I'm gonna make the goal for this video 250 likes since I noticed the last one did really well. So if we get it 250 on this video, I'd appreciate it. And also down there in the description, my Discord if you wanna join that. But everything's out of the way now, so let's just get into the video. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, I am here with the screen recording. Always shouting out my Instagrams at the start, so if you wanna go give me a follow here, personal, or on the recent account, I'd appreciate it, but let's just get that out the way. So the first investment I wanna discuss, I am gonna go a bit out of order, but I, I just wanna say like, this is the most obvious investment of this month, if, if, like of any shoe actually, just to pick up, that'll make you money to hold. Like. I shouldn't even have to tell y'all about Jordan 1s and holding them anymore. Like, you shouldn't even have to come to the channel no more and even watch to know about the Jordan 1s and holding them. Obviously, you know, you should because I'd appreciate the view, you know, and that all goes a long way, you know. Much love. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just kind of looking into this. This one's dropping March 6th, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to make a How to Cop 1 on, uh, How to Cop video on this shoe soon. But a university blue colorway. I mean, just look how clean this shoe is. It's a nice, I'm pretty sure it's a suede material too. I don't think it's a patent leather. Yeah, I think that's suede if I'm pretty right. Uh, on that yet yeah, so that's a suede pair of Jordan ones in a university blue colorway I mean that is just like anytime they do it. any sort of summer color before summer university blue because again people will compare it to like I mean it's not gonna be the same as like a UNC blue uh, or anything like that but I mean this one has been hyped for a very long time you've known about this one since January I mean they've been building hype on this one since December January so I mean this one's retailing at 170 if you get it for retail you better not sell it right off the bat I'll actually be mad if you do uh, I mean, I won't because, you know, I respect the money. You need the profit right away. I get it. Maybe you're just starting out reselling. But if you just want these for the personal, me, me, I just want these to wear. I just want them to wear, all right, honestly. But I wouldn't mind, you know, I'm going to have a really hard time deciding whether to, you know, hold or sell. Or not hold or sell, but hold or wear if I do get a pair. So I'm hoping I can get my hands on a couple because I definitely want to hold some of these. So most obvious investment of this month. I did talk about it, hopefully, for a long time here at the start. But, I mean, if you're not holding pairs of these, uh, you're just you're just lacking. You're straight up lacking. I mean, pay resale for these right off the bat. I mean, I'm not saying that just for gigs and giggles. Like maybe wait, wait, wait like a week or two to buy them after the drop because they may drop like 20, 30 bucks. But I, I don't even see that like happening. Maybe these are crazy hyped, and I've known about these for a while. So first one I want to discuss: University Blue. Please hold. And um, a second one: Nike Dunk Low uh, City Market. Hopefully, yeah, there you go. Loads in the screen there for me. Again, as I said, a very interesting pair of uh, Nike Dunk Lows releasing uh, releasing on March 4th on sneakers. I made a how-to cop video on it. If you want to go check that out on the channel, I pretty much made it like two days ago, so go watch that. It's like two videos down from this one on the channel. But this one, again, as I said, you kind of see how they paid like inspiration to like urban or like, I guess like, yeah, urban grocery stores with like kind of the designs, like grocery bag designs that they put all over the shoe. And I thought that was interesting. I didn't really think much of it though. I just kind of noticed some of, you know, like the interesting things that they added, like they kind of added like the old Nike sportswear tag, uh, kind of giving it this more vintage style, like thank you for caring. Cause again, remember these used to be called the thank you for caring dunks. So just another fact right there another thing to keep in mind and even like uh, i noticed how like kind of the laces i think they resemble ropes if i'm correct they kind of look like ropes but i mean that's what i see them resembling at least or maybe like straw of some sorts but what i noticed with this one uh is it's probably going to be very limited there's a lot of really unique details for the shoe and i mean honestly it's just one that i don't see them making a lot of pairs of it's a lot of work put into each shoe it seems like a lot of different materials and stuff so i don't see this one being one that would be you know one you'd want to sell off the bat especially with this one dropping before the summer i think this one could even be a quick hold into the summer you know just hold it through august maybe even longer uh and you'll probably be able to sell it for more because even with the dunk hype dying certain models aren't going to i mean i'm just going to be you know honest and straight up there some models are going to stay solidified i think the dunks you know actually kind of made a pretty big presence so some of those more like normal colorways will probably go down but some of the classic ones and ones that are more limited like this one that are kind of special uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I think they're probably going to stay up in value. So kind of seeing that, this one I feel like is a great hold. And another amazing hold, again, dunks this month seem to be, uh, I usually wouldn't encourage holding dunks, but when they're unique, I do encourage it. So another pair is Supreme uh, SB dunks, as you all know about these ones, the ones in multiple colorways dropping in black, blue, green, and kind of this brown. It's either a brown or burgundy. I think it's brown. Yeah, it's a brown colorway. So we have multiple pairs of the, like the star uh, Supreme SBs, if you want to just call them that. Again, 
collaboration with Nike right there. And these ones are extremely, extremely hype. I mean, they're going for thousands of dollars right now or more upwards towards 800, 900. And once I see these drop in, I mean, they'll probably stay around 500, $600. Um, that's probably what they'll stay at. Honestly, probably like 450, 600. That's pretty accurate is what I'd say. And then they'll just go up over time. So any colorway you get of these, you could hold them. Uh, I think the best one to hold is probably going to be that black or blue colorway. I think that blue one is definitely the most desired because it resembles, uh, you know, people are gonna be like, oh, it's the Kentucky Supreme, you know, Nike SB or whatever. But you know, you know, I'll, like people like to make their comparisons. So that one is definitely the best one to hold that blue colorway of the SB. So so just keep that in mind or the black colorway those two in my opinion but yeah anyone you get you get anyone you should just be happy and satisfied i'm hoping to definitely get a few of these or just one honestly one i'd be happy with this one too because i know this one's gonna be very limited also and they'll probably have a limited size run too for sure probably you know like sizes i think it's like four through 12 is what they normally do or something like that maybe eight through 12 i'm trying to recall it but i haven't really actually gone for a supreme shoot in quite a while because they've been dropping a lot of bad ones but this one is one that is not bad at all i mean it's hyped so you know i don't really feel like i have to say much more so supreme nike sb a really obvious hold also uh, about as obvious as i'd say the university blues i mean these two i shouldn't even really have to tell you all to hold hopefully uh, you knew about them coming in this video and were expecting me to talk about them uh, and i was also going to mention the top haze fours in this video but those are dropping at the end of february so definitely invest in those two i just i think i mentioned that in my february investments video but please hold those also that pair of jordan fours is another probably probably second most obvious hold in the in the last few months just gonna say that behind this one i mean yeah this is just such an obvious hold so another one i want to mention right here is the nike kobe 6 proto this one right here uh kobe slowly go up over time and i know people have an opinion on holding buying selling kobe's but um we have to be real i mean people have always been buying selling and kind of trading kobe's uh kind of from what i've noticed especially if they've been a hyped model um and e even with uh, Kobe's death. I mean, you have to admit, even if some people stopped flipping Kobe's, I mean, there would still be a good amount of people that would then pick up on the hustle and do it themselves. So it's to each its own really on, you know, reselling stuff. But again, you have to think about it like this too. If Jordan was going to die, or if Jordan, not, not Jordan was going to die, everybody dies one day. But uh, if Jordan were to suddenly die, you know, people aren't just going to stop reselling Jordans. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of my opinion on it, at least how, how I see it. But two different people, two different stores. I understand. But kind of my explanation right here, I see this one, it's an all-star colorway, so it's clearly got a little bit of hype to it. I think it's coming on March 8th, if I'm correct, or something around that time. Yeah, March 8th, probably will appear on sneakers very soon. I might make a video kind of, you know, following up and discussing it once the time is right. Uh, but you know, the colorway is something simple. It's not really anything crazy. It just seems like red, black, and white. So couldn't really get more simple than that for an all-star colorway. Uh, and yeah, you know, just Kobe slowly rise over time. Like maybe like a little 10 bucks a month is what I might've seen, five, 10 bucks a month. It's just really, you know, with time they'll rise. But is it really one of the best holds this month? No, but isn't an investment? I guess it is uh, since, you know, Kobe's, um, Kobe sixes, you know, go up slowly. And I've kind of been peeping some of the colorways, you know, just to make sure my point would be valid here. A lot of them seem to slowly go up a little bit, like not fast, but if you want an investment, I guess you could get this one, but I probably just flipped the Cubbies. But I'm gonna put it in here because you can make money holding it. It will go up. It's just not fast. And another one I want to discuss right after the Cubbies right here is the Nike Dunk High Syracuse. Classic colorway, easy hold. Don't really have to say much more than that. Syracuse colorway, I mean, it's a really clean one. This one's dropping this much. I think it's on the 10th, if I'm correct. Yeah, March 10th. And yeah, as you can see, I mean, it's just, dunk highs, I usually would say, are a very poor investment. I say dunk highs don't go up. I say don't hold them. But if it's something like this, classic colorway, unique collaboration, please hold it. So with this one, it's gonna be retail. And I think retail and dunk highs is 110 or 120. Yeah, 120. Um, it's dropping at plenty of places, it seems like, or at least sneakers locations. But I'm sure more foot sites and different things will appear for these ones uh, sometime. But kind of looking into this one, I could definitely see it rising from the drop. It'll probably resell, I'm assuming, at the start after the drop, like 200, 220, and then I could definitely see them going up to 250, 270 for a little bit, maybe 280. It's just, I think people are gonna want these ones in the summer, and I don't see this one really being one that would be that much of a brick. I think people are definitely gonna go for it. I mean, it's a Syracuse, it's a classic colorway. People like the classic colorways, and you know, Dunk High is definitely, uh, I mean, it's still a Dunk, so people are gonna be like, oh, you know, I, I want it. So yeah, you know, I think it's nice. I'm not really hating, uh, and actually, I actually appreciate this, so good shoe. Um, another one after this one is a Nike Dunk Low uh, Pearl. I know this one that people have been discussing, or Pearl Orange, people have been discussing uh, this one with me. I know it dropped earlier in the EU, February 11th, as it said, but I think it's March 10th also. Uh, for this one, yeah, March 10th. So we have a couple shoes coming on March 10th on sneakers uh, for this one. So my prediction actually, is since these two shoes are dropping on the same day, I'm thinking that these two right here are gonna drop both through a draw. And I'm not thinking they're gonna release 
release. You know, normally we have one to two minutes to check out. I think both these shoes were released through a draw system and you know, you'll have like 10 minutes to enter to get each one. And that's why I'm thinking since it's both dropping around the same time. Now, this one is a good hold in the summer, in my opinion, in kind of those smaller sizes. Since it is woman sizing only, if you get those smaller sizes like 5W through 7W or anything under seven and a half W, I think it's really good to hold this one because I see it going up. It's a nice kind of like, I'm pretty sure this one's suede too. I don't think it's patent leather, but I just want to make sure. I mean, I'm just going to double check. I think, no, this one's actually patent leather. I can kind of tell by the holes up here. So this is a patent leather shoe, but don't ignore it again. It's still a really nice pair. And uh, you know, you might want to hold it just for a little bit into the summer. Again, like three to six months, if it doesn't go up, flip it. But there's better holds in this video, as I've mentioned, of course, but this one and the Syracuse aren't too bad. Uh, you know, dropping again, same day. And then my predictions through a Leo release, I'm not thinking a Dan one where you have one to two minutes to check out or one to three minutes. I'm thinking you'll just have 10 minutes to enter. So hopefully that'll be the case so more people will get a chance or at least it'll be more fair to some people. So another one and the final one I want to discuss in this video, the final investment I have, this really just uh, appeared on the sneakers app this morning, if I'm correct, just appeared on sneakers. Carpet Company and Nike SB Dunk High collaboration. Now these, uh, we've known about them for a while and these are these are just insane. They're crazy. The photos for these are crazy. They have really nice details to drop it on March 12th, if I'm uh, correct on this. Uh, yeah, or March 9th. Or yeah, March, uh, March 12th is what it says. March 9th on the uh, skate shops. So I'll make a video on this one soon. But the graphics on the shoe are insane. Definitely a cold. It's going to be limited. There's no way something with this much detail is going to be, you know, have a bunch of pairs. As I always mention, you can kind of just look at a shoe and know uh, whether you see value in it. And this is definitely going to be one that I hope they make a dope video for it too. Like, you know, some sort of skate video or something. But I mean, hey, you you see the details I got embroidered logos crazy details and kind of this royal colorway and that even this darker kind of on the swoosh a little bit I mean you see the details they clearly put some effort on this one so I really appreciate it and definitely one that I want to get my hands on for the personal maybe but I mean shoot uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna really you know I'm, I don't know about you know having this one for the personal you know maybe because you know I think I'd actually be able to do something dope make a dope fit so I might want it might hold it but Definitely a great investment. That's not something I even have to, and even, even have to think about that much. Definitely will probably rise, you know, another 50, 100, 150 bucks after the drop. So I'm gonna end the screen recording right there. And those are my best upcoming March sneaker investments right there. You guys can definitely make some money on those ones right there coming up very soon. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And let's roll the outro right here. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this sneaker investment video right here. Again, if you want more content just like this video right here, I'm always doing sneaker investment videos. So please subscribe below and also drop a like. I'd appreciate it. Goal for this video, 250 likes, as I said. So if we could hit it, that'd be cool. But if we know it's not the end of the world, I'm sure we will over time because, you know, more people will watch the video, I'm sure. So let me know what you're investing in. Let me know if you think any of these aren't good investments that I mentioned or if you think, uh, you know, they all are. You think I didn't miss at all? Then good, let me know. But that's all I got to say. Check my IGs and Discord down below. Hopefully you will go check those out. You can go add me on Snapchat too if you want to. Your boy's been posting a little bit there. So, you know, he's starting to get active on the social media. But, you know, he's, he's trying. I know, I know. Uh, but you don't really like social media. I'm gonna be honest. He just like YouTube because he really can connect with people that are genuine here and mess with a few people that don't like him. But that's all I gotta say. I'm out. And if you're still here watching this video right now, at the very end, comment Canon. C A N O N. Comment Canon. It's the name of my camera. So do it. All right. I'll see y'all. Peace.